Sunday driver to a carload of these dizzy speed hounds. They're after the prize dough in the 200 lap Ascot Classic. But nobody knows in whose laps the money's going to fall or into whose lap a car might skid. Can't you see the lights? There, we told you. Look out! Looks like a nasty crash, don't it? Well, almost. Two cars out of the race, but nobody hurt. Now get ready for the finish. Any triplet is way ahead, and our hunch is he's gonna win. Yep, he does. Who says triplets are hard luck? <laughs> Dirt track devotees turn out for their diet of dust. And the dirtier it is, the better their lover doesn't need at least a peck of the stuff. He's off his feed for a week. Dizzy business, nasty turns, and look out! Nerves of steel these fellows have, slamming their way through the dust clouds. If that little boy in the third row wants to know why they don't pile up at every turn, will his mother please tell him that we don't know? Thank you, ma'am. Curtains of smoke and curtains of dust, you better hope, pals, that your tires don't bust. This is one of the trickiest and most difficult speedways in these United States. It was built by the American Legion and war was never like this. The boys are off to a fine eat em up start. Look out! All the lads who enlist in this game expect something will happen every time they go over the top. Heads down, big boy! Look out! These fences were built to protect the spectators. You've got to look out for yourself. Wait a minute. It looks as if he's going to get out of this jam okay. And the boys keep right on rolling along. First aid is always first, here or anywhere. All's well. Zip! The demons of the dirt track get off to a snappy start in the Dixie Motor Derby free-for-all at Atlanta, the auto classic of the South. A thrill in every turn of the wheel, a chill in every slithery, skidding turn, a cough in every car of dust picked up by the dizzy dervishes of motor madness. Neck and neck in a desperate struggle for first place. Goff in number four and Gingrich in 99 set a fast pace. Miraculously, Goff escaped death. Dust blinded, he crashed the fence and was thrown to the track where the wheels of the skidding Gingrich passed over him. Another victim of the craze for speed. Game. Dirt track racing makes any other sport seem as tame as croquet. Dust eating dervishes defy death on every lap. Slip, slide, a huff and a puff. And there goes a skid. He's out of it, but more's to come. Art Boyce jamming through recklessly is leading the pack. Be careful, Art. Here it comes. Slammed up against the rail, Boyce loses control of his speedster. 
like a cork in a storm, he is tossed about and thrown clear as his car starts to leak gasoline. They better get him out of there before that stuff ignites or one of the others hit him. Fortunately, Boyce was not badly hurt, but he flared with death. Speed Demons open their throttles and the 500 mile Blue Ribbon Classic of Auto Racing is on. A throng of 135,000 waits for the thrills. Faster and faster, they're whizzing by at 100 miles an hour. Look! That's George Bailey of Detroit. He escapes with a broken wrist. Dead man's curves. It's the hoodoo spot of the track. And there's another skid. It looks as if they're going over. Nope. Boy, oh boy, are they lucky. Whoops. Okay, they're all right. Ooh, that was Chet Miller, and a miracle he's not killed. Here's where Wild Bill Cummings, number seven, takes the lead to win. Friends, roll him in, $40,000 richer than when he started, but all he wants now is a bottle of beer. Nice going, Bill. Ascot Speedway, Los Angeles, California. The craze for speed. Demons of the road, flirting with fame and fortune and death. Watch it! Faster and faster they go, pushing motors to the limit. On the straightaway, they travel more than two miles a minute. He's out of control and burst into flame. There's another, but Lady Luck's riding with him. Look! Thrown from the car, but lucky for him, he's not very badly hurt. Lost a wheel! The rail missed him, and he's snatched from death, but it still goes on. Three supercharged speedsters whirling around the brick and asphalt Indianapolis Speedway in the annual Memorial Day 500-mile automobile race. Streaking along at a two-mile-a-minute clip, out of control, a heart-chilling smash-up. But Lady Luck was riding with the driver, and he escapes unhurt. The slow-motion camera records his getting away from the disabled car and dashing to safety in the infield. Another roaring racer at 120 miles an hour loses a wheel. Skilled pilots avoid fatal mishaps, and amazing pit crews service the iron steeds and the pilots in less than a minute. It's a grueling grind full of brushes with disaster and thrilling driving. Signaling the winner, and the speed demon of the day drives his speed special into the winner's circle. 30-year-old Pat Flaherty of Chicago, who averaged over 128 miles an hour, stands to win over $75,000, gets a big loving cup and a mighty big kiss. Thirty-three sleek speedsters roll away in the famed Indianapolis Speedway 500-mile Memorial Day Classic. crowd thrills to the fastest Indianapolis ever, marred by some mishaps when cars bettering two miles a minute spin out of control. Fortunately, no serious crack-ups and the roaring racers zoom along. 42-year-old Sam Hanks in his 12th try speeds to victory in record-breaking time, averaging over 135 miles an hour. His elapsed time for the 500 miles, 3 hours, 41 minutes, 14 and 2 tenths seconds. Driving a blonde exhaust special. He's going to quit racing now, but the win is worth $100,000 to Sam. And it's thanks from Hanks. Congratulations. Congratulations.